Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a cowboy hat. So we start by adding a mesh circle where we're going to say as footage 6 and a radius 2. Now, first thing we're going to do is switch to edit mode, select that point, shift that point and press S and enlarge it a little bit like this. Press double A, so we select everything and we're going to extrude in Z direction like this. We're going to sh press S to the head is a little conically. Now we're going to do ES, shrink it to the center like this and fill it up. Now we're going to use the edge selection tool, right click on that one, hold down Alt Shift to select everything, ES to enlarge it a little bit like that, again ES to make the head the form as it should be. And now you have your basic shape, like you see, of the head. So we're going to add a few modifiers, add modifier first one is subdivision surface, where we're going to switch the view to 3 and the rendering also to 3. Okay, now if you want a cowboy head, you have to use the selection tool edge here. Right click on that one, hold. Right click on that one. And we're going to lift it like this. Now it's for roller looking okay. Now, what we need to do is also press S to bring it a little bit together, like that. And we're going to bring, sorry, we're going to use the first thing over there, hold down the shift button, and we're going to bring them down like this. So you get that tip over like a cowboy hat should look. Okay, now you see that the center is rather too big, so we're going to shrink it a little bit. And to do that, we're going to use the inside and we're going to press S a little bit like that and on top of it we're going to select these six and we're going to bring them inside a little more like this so the head should drop all like it I'm going to use the control R until we get that purple line and we're going to subdivide it into three and we're going to bring it somewhere underneath as close as we can get over there like that now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give use it the face selection tool select that one hold down alt shift and sorry do it again and we're going to use the e s and we're going to bring it a little outside, not much, like this. To add, we're going to use the Ctrl R to make a nice clean edge in that case. Okay. And we're going to give it some colors now. And the rest will be fine tuning. First of all, we're going to give it a brown color as the basic color where we don't want don't use any specular maximum intensity and we're going to choose a light brown color to find something that looks like it's a little bit more and a little more red I think Yes, that should look okay. Probably a little darker. Like this. Okay, so you sign. Now we're going to select the rest. Face selection tool, this one. Shift Alt, this one. And we're going to add a dark brown dark something happens 
dark brown maximum intensity watch dark and sorry, a little bit of shyness say a sign okay now we're going to bring the color up to the edge by control R until it pops up like here and we're going to bring it totally up I'm going to do the same underneath I'm going to bring it down like this okay now what I see is that it should be a little more conically so we're going to use so that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, we're going to press S a little more, and we're going to use these also by pressing S. This is fine tuning. Okay, we're going to add modifier and we're going to give it a certain thickness. Let's say around 04, I think will be okay. Good. I know the few things left to do is position the camera. Therefore, we're going to lock camera view and we're going to press 0. And I want to look to my head like this. Okay, cursor on the screen, unlock, and we position the lights. Let's say the lamp, one over here, shift the one over there. And we select the head, where we say I don't want any shadows whatsoever in that color and also for the other one and let's have a quick look what it looks like pay attention that your format is correctly mine is JPEG I render it ah I forgot one thing I want object to be smooth render it and there you have your head. I'm going to move it a little bit because it does not look f f good for me. Render it again. It's not a possibility if you want to see it more flattened this way render more shines on the back position the lights a little bit until you got what you want, I'm going to put one underneath it, so because it then shines so in here you see you have your cowboy hat, thank you for watching, if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching